Hi art students, welcome to our virtual art class together. Today I'm going to get you started on a dolphin that's leaping up out of the sea. And we are going to do it um, line by line um, together with art supplies that you may have at home. Okay, um, so I have colored pencils, I have crayons, and I have some markers. And those are things that you also may have. Um, so we're gonna get started here. Um, I am using a nine by 12 inch piece of paper. So that's half of, of a, a larger piece of drawing paper, okay? We're gonna start off by very lightly drawing in some guidelines so that we um, have an idea where to place our first line. So halfway through the paper, just draw a really light line, a horizontal line, and then draw a vertical line, okay? Very lightly. This is just to give you an idea of where to start, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna use a pencil. I also have my eraser because you know when we draw, sometimes um, we wanna go back and make a different kind of line. Now what we're gonna think about is um, a nice half circle, okay? Um, I like to make my, my pencil go in the motion of the shape that I'm gonna make before I draw it. So I want you to make a dot on that horizontal line about halfway through from the edge of the paper to the, the midline that's vertical, make a little dot and then come over here in the middle of this line and make a little dot halfway through from this line to the edge of the paper, okay? Now, we're going to also make a little dot from um, halfway up, from the horizontal line to the top of the paper. That's gonna give us a place to make our half circle live, okay? So, think about making a nice, rounded, curvy line to connect to this dot, what we're doing is we're making the back of the dolphin and then keep it going to the other side and connect to that dot, okay? So we have a nice rounded, um, sort of like a half circle line, okay? The next thing we're gonna do, so we, I'm, gonna make my, I'm gonna make my guideline a little bit darker so that you can see it better, okay? but you make yours nice and light, okay? Now maybe you can see that a little bit better, okay? All right, we're gonna make this line come down a little bit, keep it coming, just that nice curve, just a little bit, okay? And then we're gonna start right in the middle where the lines intersect, okay? And we're gonna, we're gonna make a line that comes down to a place, if you put your finger next to this line that you made, make another, uh, make another mark on the other side, okay? And connect the dot in the middle to that little line that you made on the other side of your finger, okay? So here we go, a nice rounded line, okay? So that is the beginning of the, the tummy of the dolphin. So now I want, you to, I want you to do the same thing. This is a nice rounded line to about the same place over here, okay? So we made this line, now we're making another rounded line. Now let's go back to this. So the dolphin has sort of a bump on his head, okay? Um, we want to make it come in a little bit and then go out a little bit, make a rounded nose and connect to your line. Okay, so we started there on that horizontal line. We came in a little bit and then down and around and connected to that line. Okay, so now let's make its tail. Um, maybe now bring this line down farther and bring this line down farther, okay? Maybe a little bit more. And then I want you to, below these two, where your 
where you put your finger, make a dot down below, okay? That's gonna be the middle of its tail. So this is the coolest line. Um, if you, actually, let's make another dot down here and another dot down here, okay? Sort of on either side and farther down from, and then we're going to connect the dots again, ready? And we're gonna make a kind of a curvy line, almost like an S kind of line. Curvy, same thing. We'll make a mirror image over here and connect that line. Now, like we did on the nose, the tail is a little bit rounded, not quite as big. So I'm rounded around, make a little curve. And then we've got these lines up here. So we're gonna connect this, these lines to this. Nice, just a rounded curve. So what I like to, to do, and I'm making dark lines so that you can see, but when I draw, I like to use sketching motions, okay? Like this, and lightly, okay? Because then you can go in and easily erase. So don't draw um, with a dark line. I'm doing that for our purposes here but remember how lightly we sketch, okay? There we go, we've got the shape of the dolphin. Let's come right on this horizontal line and um, make a nice rounded eye that goes right over that, that line. And this dolphin is happy because he is playing in the sea and so we're gonna bring a line from right under the eye down its nose, okay, like that, and let's give him a little bit of a smile, okay? Now, the, we're missing some things, aren't we? We're missing its flippers and its fins. So, I want you, this is where we're going to uh, make another little half circle here, so think about right in here, okay? right where around the dot making, so sketch it in first and then make your line, okay? That's the top of its flipper, okay? And then we're, we're going to just sketch it in. This is kind of a, a really neat shape. You play with it a little bit. It's almost like a, um, a funny bean. Okay, it's all rounded. There are no sharp edges. Actually, there are no sharp edges on any of the dolphin because um, animals are made up of organic shapes. Okay, then um, it should have another flipper, right? So this is on this side of the body. There's gonna be a flipper on the other side of his body, right? So let's just make it come in a little bit more and make it a little bit, you know, behind, okay, like that. So see how I'm sketching? And then I might go over my line and make it darker. So go over my lines and make them darker after I like um, what I've done. Now go back up to this dot that we made when we made this half circle, and we're going to make its fin, okay? So we're going to connect a nice curvy line that comes back to its back. You ready? So sketch. And then bring it around. So again, this is a nice rounded shape here. So I like how that's looking. I'm gonna go over it now with my pencil. And then we're gonna make a line for um, the bottom of its tummy that goes right through this is called a parallel line. So we've already made this line, right? Now we're making a line above it that is parallel. And this is a place that we're going to, we're gonna bring it all the way. See, parallel lines don't touch and they're about the same distance. They're the same distance away, okay? So let's bring it against the tail. We're gonna leave this part a really light color here, okay? Now, you're gonna to want to erase the lines that are in the middle of the flipper and in the middle of your dolphin, all of your guidelines, okay? You're gonna to want to erase 
erase those because those aren't really part of the dolphin, are they? Those just helped us to draw him, okay? So I'm erasing my guidelines that I drew really dark for you to be able to see, all right? There's some in here. And if you need to, oh, and right through here, okay? So use your eraser. I always hold my paper down and while I'm erasing and I, and I, so it doesn't get all crumpled up, okay? Hold it down and then erase carefully. Okay, there we go. All right, so it's living in a, in a place, right? It's, it's jumping out of the sea. So let's give it some um, nice waves. They don't have to all be the same, right? You can make them kind of different, but this is gonna be the sea down here. Um, and then, let's say that it is a partly cloudy day, okay? Let's get all the eraser shavings off. So let's just, let's make some clouds, nice rounded shapes. You make yours um, however you like. Maybe another one over here, okay? And then maybe the sun is peeking out from behind the cloud, okay? And it's shining brightly, so maybe we make some rays. Okay. Now, I think we need some color, don't you? Now let's talk about different um, ways to color him in. Um, you might start with um, crayons. Um, so we've got, I've got different colors of, of gray, blues, and the yellow for the sun. So, and the markers and the crayons and the and the um, colored pencils. So um, I love colored pencils, but I'm gonna start off with the, the crayon first, okay? Dolphin um, are gray. Um, and what you're gonna want to do is you are going to want to go with your strokes of whatever you're using, marker, colored pencils, you're going to want to go parallel along the lines you've made. Um, dolphin are very smooth, so you don't want to color like this. Try coloring in the same direction as your lines. And I like to start on the edge, okay? So this is what a crayon looks like. Now what if we press down really darkly, okay, around the edges and then get lighter as we come towards the middle of his body, then we can kind of give him a rounded look, right? All right, so that's how a crayon would be. Do you see how um, I'm going along with my line? The dolphin is going like this, so our, our marks should go that way too, okay? Let's try a colored pencil. Now, I have two grays. Um, maybe we do his fin. I start on the, on the side, okay? And maybe outline, maybe outline your shape first. Okay, and then come in from there. And if you keep using a dark, you know, pushing down darkly, it's gonna be nice and dark, but if you lighten up and lighten up and lighten up, then you're gonna give that more of a shape. So come back to the edge, and, and do you see how this shape seems to be going this way? So I'm drawing, I am coloring it in, in that direction, okay? Coloring that in, in that direction. All right, so that gives you an idea. So as I'm coming around here, now the line is going this way. So I'm gonna change my, the way I'm going, okay? So that gives you an idea of what the colored pencil would be like. And there are different colors right now. Um, I don't have a gray um, marker, but you could also do that. But again, you know, go along with the motions. How about if we use um, our marker to fill in the sun? Oh, do you know what I would also um, suggest that you maybe do um, if you want to, if you want to outline any of your work and not just use pencil, you can use um, a black colored pencil and come along your lines and make them nice and black, okay? Um, that might be a nice look. You can also just have your nice dark pencil lines and then fill it in. It's really up to you. You're the artist, okay? But that is one thing that you could do. Um, let's, let's talk about the 
the water down here. This might be a good place to, you know, outline it, not in black, but maybe in a, a lighter blue, okay? Go over the lines you made. And um, you can, with a, a marker, you can use the point or you can use the side of it to make larger marks, okay? So you can either color it, this all in, or you can give it some motion by doing other lines in here, okay? That could be neat. So um, I, would, I would outline the ones that you made, but see how we're adding motion and I'm using more of the side? And you can also um, use other colors. Maybe I use the point now, okay? And I add in some, you know, this marker's fading fast. You know how to rejuvenate a marker? If you put it in a little bit of water and then put the cap on and let it sit upside down, um, no, let it sit right side up and let the water kind of come in, it'll rejuvenate it, you know. Um, all right, that's just an idea to give some uh, interest into the sea, right? Okay, um, and maybe a yellow marker for your son. And again, I think, you know, outlining it, and this is a circle. Go around, the, go make your motions circular, right? Leave your cloud. See how you can do that? Okay. Um, that's, and you can use anything, you know, the yellow colored pencil, um, the sky. Um, I would be very careful, maybe not, you know, maybe using a colored pencil, okay? Um, go around what you've already done with the dolphin. So color in all of your dolphin first, okay? Maybe just gently outline here. The sky, you want to be very different from, so I'm outlining my dolphin. You want it to be a contrast to what you've done down here. So the, um, the ocean or the sea should be much darker, okay? And then filling in, um, you know, behind and coming up to the clouds. Um, you can use sort of a circular uh, motion if you want to, or, you know, um, show, a, you can do some lines if you want to, but I think since we've decided that it's a nice, you know, bright, shiny day, we should just make a nice blue sky behind, right? Um, how about maybe um, doing one of my colored pencils? Okay, the same thing. Okay, going around and then out, out from the dolphin, okay? Um, you might add in um, a little bit of fill in the eye, okay? If you wanna do a highlight, so it sh um, live things have highlights, like if you look in someone's eyes, there's always like a little white line and it makes it look like it's alive, okay? So let's come back in. I'm gonna do my colored pencil and I'm gonna show you one more thing. Remember this line right here that we made? Leave it white, okay, or a very light gray. So um, as I fill that in, um, I go on either side here. So this, um, you're gonna leave that belly white when um, dolphin have uh, a white belly, okay? So um, this is, what it looks like to have um, an outline of your whole dolphin. You've got a, sort of a, a dark, so you can get you can do a darker gray right up to it, and then come out and do lighter and lighter and lighter. Remember, we're following along our, with our lines, okay? Um, you can also use um, a Crayola marker to outline it. Um, a pen, a crayon would probably not be a good choice because it's too thick. Um, you're definitely, so if you just choose to just use your pencil lines, I would definitely get, you know, make it smile and it's, it's eye in, in black. Um, so I hope that that gets you started with, um, our dolphin coming out of the sea 
and use your imagination. What else might be around him? Um, could there maybe be um, some birds in the sky way off? You know, they're, they're way above the clouds. What about if there were um, splashes? Because it's just jumped out of the sea, right? Maybe it's splashing the water, okay? So maybe, you know, you color in some splash marks. That might be fun, okay? Maybe there's a little fish that's poking up out of out of here and the dolphin's going to play. Use your imagination. This will, this will be a fun project for you and I'm really looking forward to see um, what kinds of art you do. So have a great day.